Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, lordy. With a truck this messy, it can really only mean one thing. I'm back on the road. Today marks the day that I'm officially an adult. Also, I got on my own phone plan finally. That's right, me. I was on my parents' Verizon plan until just today. I'm ashamed to admit that. But I'm off it now, right? I finally cut all the ties. We're actually road tripping to North Dakota of all places. I know. I can't believe I'm going to North Dakota either. My friends used to say that there uh, is an interesting thing to do under every tree in North Dakota, and there's not very many trees. Just kidding. They said that there's they said that there's beautiful women under every tree. I'm sorry, North Dakota people. We got five hours. We're going on a five-hour road trip to North Dakota. I know that's not my end all goal but you'll figure that out in the next video I'm not gonna give that up yet if this is any uh, giveaway there you go Guess who got over four thousand dollars worth of suspension brake work done? This guy. But we got some sexy new coilovers and stock control arms. I ended up going with like some cheaper suspension, but it's leveled out now. We got some nice new rotors. Oh, it's looking good. Now we're even packing in the rear. Because I'm gonna be doing so much driving. In the next week here I thought it's better to uh, get that done now rather than run into issues turns out I needed brakes and rotors all around pads that's not what you came to see though you came to see this thing for those of you that aren't familiar this is a pressure cooker one of my favorite things about using a pressure cooker like this is it's a uh, a click and forget type of cooking so it's hard to make a mistake which is great so great that i thought it would probably work very well in the truck and in this particular instance with me doing a lot of driving i think it's going to uh maybe make me food while i'm driving what do you think buddy you think you can do it for me This works. It could be the greatest thing ever. Okay, a little detour. You ever seen this before? Black Widow F-150? I've seen them on uh, Chevys. I got the Black Ops one here. He's pretty sick. All right, let's keep going. Here, check these out. All right, this one right here that's that's bay that looks so nice but this one this is what i want and these have been impossible to find a tremor package dude this thing's so clean would you judge me if i got one of those that thing's so sick look at that truck dude camper shell right here oh this one's pretty that i mean that one with some all road all terrain tires on there some grabbers see you later okay we need to find a grocery store it's probably gonna close soon eh i love my truck man but i do think about getting something like that it's a little bit bigger a little bit nicer 
always can be bigger and nicer. One of the really nice things about pressure cookers is it's a really easy way to make rice. But we first have to wash our rice because we're adults. So now, that did that, take this out. Toss our rice in. All right, now you got this lid. Put this on there. We're gonna turn it. Watch how easy this is. We're gonna set the uh, top dial to pressure. Plug that thing in, turn it on. All right, so now you got this menu. I am going to use the pressure cook. And then there's actually just a thing on here for white rice. We're just gonna click that on. It's preset low at 10 minutes. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna shut this and go shopping. Nice to meet you. Trevor, I watch your videos. What's up, dude? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm on a road trip right now. I'm going to North Dakota. I'm heading up to... Uh... Oh, fun. Yeah. My dad used to live there. Yeah, That's super cool. nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, dude? Freaking what's up? way, dude. Maverick, nice to meet you. Oh, my God. I really, really enjoyed, like, your ice fishing trout videos. That Thank was you, like... man. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks, super good nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. You too. Butter. Butter. How's it going? Good about Not too bad, man. My phone just shut off again. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the guy checked me out. Said hi, said what's up too. He said you watched the videos. Shout out to all the homies in Crookston. It's working now. That's good. We have perfectly cooked rice. Okay, we're gonna do rice in here. Like while I'm shopping, are you kidding me? Okay, so we need to get this thing kind of clean. Oh God. Dude, my favorite knife is just getting obliterated. I'm sorry, knife. Did you see that? It was like bent like this. Oh, such a buzzkill. I could cry because of that. That's just. You guys think you could fix it or know somebody that could fix this knife please let me know otherwise i guess i'll just have to be way more careful so sad this was my favorite one it's a 210 millimeter super kyoto it was my favorite all right so before i can start driving again i need to uh do a few things so i can just leave this thing so I need to add the chicken pieces, which I just did, stir in the spices, and then add the tomato sauce.
right, this is Garam Masala. Got some ginger. Some turmeric. Almost forgot the cayenne. And some chili powder. Oh, God. I'm gonna add a little bit of water into there. Put the lid back on. Slow cook. All right, there we go. Now we leave it. I'm sorry if my mood changed. I'm so sad about my knife. But we're cooking right now. I really hope it's not tipping over back there. Like. I can feel the, every bump, I can feel every bump. If this method of cooking works well, and isn't a horrible mess, it could be the best, uh, the best thing I've figured out for road tripping. Not too much daylight left, but we're gonna drive until we can. Bito, bito, tikka masala. I've been driving for about an hour now. Uh, next pull off I see, I'll stop and we'll check on the food. Also, there's a lot of trees here. I don't know what my buddies are talking about. Somehow, in the middle of nowhere, there's an anytime fitness. And that's where we're gonna be staying tonight. least it didn't tip over no matter what. What are we looking like in here? That looks very watery. Let's see what it looks like once we add the yogurt in. All right, so we got coconut milk. Put this on. some of this in there too. I'm gonna let this do its thing for a little bit. All right, it's starting to smell pretty, pretty dang good in here. I definitely put too much like cream stuff in here because this is, this is usually a lot more like of a tomato look it's a lot more red usually that's what i'm trying to get at Whew, smells good I'm trying to get this boiling so i can like, thicken it up a bit i don't know if i have flour in here but i might toss some in there as well where i was thinking about making uh homemade naan for you all I'm also a member of Costco. I had some of this stuff left over, so. You can just buy this pretty much anywhere. I also like to throw a little garlic and a little bit of butter in my naan because I'm naughty. Alright, that was way too much butter. And 
now, tikka masala is ready. Wow, that looks good. Wow, that looks good. Tikka masala. All right, pretty low maintenance all in all. So we have our our naan, our garlic butter naan. The recipe said cilantro, but I got parsley. I don't think, do they use cilantro in Indian food? I thought it was parsley, but maybe I'm mistaken. All I know is this looks bussin'. Look at that tikka masala. This is gonna be so good, dude. One of my favorite meals right here. And it was made super easy. Like, doesn't get any easier than that. Oh man, it's spicy. I put a little cayenne in there. <gasps> I'm painting myself again. Dude, so good. Okay, maybe it is cilantro. The parsley tastes kind of weird. If you guys haven't had tikka masala and garlic naan, do it. Definitely the spiciest tikka masala I've had. Usually it's supposed to be a lot more mild, but I'm not complaining, I like spice. The nice thing is, too, if you're making this at home, this keeps really well in the freezer. So, if you want to, like, meal prep for yourself and freeze some in Ziploc bags or something, this is the perfect meal to do it. <laughs> it's so funny to think I cooked most of this while I was driving. So, right now I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. Um, fun fact about this place is it's actually the furthest that you can get away from an ocean in all of North America. You can get my, uh, the Velcro-backed patches in a lot of different styles over at mavmadeit.com. Oh! Alright, I'm just gonna put the lid on it for now. I'm tapping out, man. It's 1040. Oh, I'm exhausted and stuffed. Time to get horizontal. Hot dogs or legs? Those are hot dogs. Hey. Right. Pressure cooker. Thumbs up for me. Easy to use, mid tasty meal, and refrigerates well, so we'll have some food for the next few days. I'm gonna get a workout in and uh, get back on the road. As always, until next time, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking. <laughs>